Okay, this is module 15, measurement and calculation of inflation. Uh, this is really going to be a short PowerPoint. Much of the concepts are the same as what we did a few days ago when we were calculating real GDP. Um, GDP is the entire economy. When we talk about inflation, we're looking at a market basket of goods. Um, for our purposes, we really can't do either. So we're either looking at a, an entire economy made up of three goods or a market basket made up of three goods. But the concepts remain the same. There are a few terms, though, that we need to uh, be aware of, so that's what I'm going to talk about here. Uh, the first is a market basket of goods. This is a hypothetical set of goods purchased by consumers. And we calculate a price index for a market basket of goods. And we give an index value. Generally, in a base year, we start at 100, and then from there, we can see if prices have gone up or down. Okay, so here we're looking at a market basket of three goods, beer, wine, pizza, okay, and we're looking at the prices and quantities, and using this information, we would construct a price index. There are three main types of price indices that we'll talk about. Um, really, the main one is the consumer price index. This is the market basket of goods that the typical family might purchase. If you look over here on the right, you see the items that make up the market basket. Food and beverage, housing, uh, you know, clothing, transportation, health care, and so on. And so they take elements from each of these categories, measure the prices from month to month, and this is how they're able to construct a price index. We also have something called the producer price index, which is the same concept, except this measures raw materials, input costs into uh, the goods and services that we buy. And then we have the GDP deflator, which is basically a GDP price index. While the consumer price index measures a market basket, the GDP deflator measures the prices in the entire economy. Um, there's not a whole lot of practice on this PowerPoint. Um, again, if you want practice or you need review, go back and look at the module on calculating real GDP, the concepts are relatively similar.